Hey guys, welcome to this full body flow. You may want to be warmed up before you practice and I will teach you the sequence and then we will run through it once on the left and the right at full flow pace. And if you like this sort of flowing practice, then do like and comment and subscribe to my channel. And you can also get lots more videos on my website through the membership subscription. So follow me and have some fun. So we're going to begin this practice in a child's pose position. So bringing your arms forward, bum towards the heels, the knees can be together or slightly apart. And then arrive at your breathing. Notice how your breath feels, where it might be placed. Breathing in and out through the nose the entire practice today. And just allowing your breath to be that power, that energy, that force that drives the body in and out of shapes. Listening closely to how your breath feels will allow you to notice how your body is being experienced in this practice. Let's take one more breath. On the next inhalation, we'll drop the forearms down to the floor and come into a forearm cow position, lifting the tailbone and the chest. Tucking the toes, we'll lift the knees off the floor and shift back into dolphin pose, feeling a nice stretch and strengthen through the shoulders. You can bend your knees if you need to or you can paddle through the legs if that feels nice. On our next inhale, see if we can lift both elbows at the same time, or one at a time, and shift forward into our plank pose, trying to track the hips in line with the scapula, in line with the skull. We'll then push back nice and steady into your downward facing dog pose. Again, this is the first down dog you may have done today, so you can paddle through pushing the hands into the ground and allowing the shoulders to actually lift up slightly towards the ears. We're not suffocating the ears, but we're allowing there to be that upward rotation of your shoulder blades. Inhale, we'll come through into our plank position and then we'll drop our heels to the right, toes to the left and come into side plank, lifting the hips up high, reaching that left arm over the head. Keep the breath moving. Your left knee will drop down to the floor and your left hand will come back down to the floor and we'll swap into the right leg being lifted and the right arm being lifted into that modified side plank pose. Try and reach out of the toes and the fingers. The right foot then will come slightly in front of the hips. It's coming towards the back corner of the mat. As we place it down, we lift the body up into this gate pose. Taking the right arm down the right shin into a lovely side stretch position, opening up through the chest as well as through the side of the ribs. Now we'll spin to the back of your mat. So leave the right foot where it is, pivot on your left knee, hands can come down to the floor and getting a lateral side stretch, that oh, yummy side stretch, side of the leg position. So you should foot down the outer edge of your leg as you pull the right hip back and try and lengthen through the spine. Now we're tucking the left toes into the floor, maybe the palms down, and we can either draw the feet back together first or simultaneously lift the left knee and slide the feet together. We'll then walk our hands back towards the feet, let the knees open wide and the heels come together, garland pose. You can stay here with your hands grounded or you can sweep your hands around and underneath, so they're coming to the backs of the heels as you fold in. Take a breath here. Slowly rising back up, the knees will come together. We'll lift the arms up high and find that balance on the balls of your feet. Palms will come together and we twist to the right side. Left elbow can drop to the outside of the right thigh and we push the hands together. Now you can stay here. 
or we can come into a little bit of a side crow. So your right elbow drops into your right hip, your left elbow is now into your left thigh, your right thigh, and the hands are going to come down to the floor as we lean forward and in and pick the feet off the floor. You can hold here or extend the left leg forward. I'll show you the variation of coming into the next pose from here. We drop the right foot, drop the left foot and open the right knee and fold. Or we come back up onto the feet, extend the left leg, spin on the right foot and fold forward. The option is up to you. Now turning back to the top of your mat, your left hand comes down, we pivot back into this lunge position and we're going to turn so the right foot turns out and then roll onto both outer edges of your feet, lifting the right arm high. You should feel this nicely in your hips. So the right hips pulling back, left hips pulling forward and you lift up the hips as high as they can go. Turning back to that lunge. So bring the right foot forward, left ball of the foot down and let's try and lift into our warrior three. Micro bend in your right knee and try and lift up through the back of the hamstring and the glute of the left leg. Hands can be along the sides of your body. They can be at the heart center or wherever you would like to practice. Take another breath. We'll come for a curtsy, so we'll bring the left foot behind, slightly across and behind the right. Lift the chest up and the arms will reach out wide and we sink down. So a bit of the weight is into the right heel and the left ball of the foot and you should feel your right butt cheek firing on. Good, pushing into the right foot, eagle the legs, the left leg crosses all the way over the right, maybe one bind or you can hook the left foot behind the right ankle. Hands will come behind you as you interlace the fingers and pull the shoulder blades down and back. Maybe sinking a bit lower, if that feels nice. Maybe folding forward, beginning to take a little bit of a fold into this position. Good, we'll unravel the legs, take the arms and grab hold of your leg wherever you can. Shin, thigh, foot. You can use your hands if you need them, they are useful tools. Or lower all the way down, piking onto the bum, into this crane position. Excuse the crack of my knee. <laughs> if you have cracky knees like me and it doesn't hurt, we're all good. So this is a nice pose to get that stretch all the way down from the Achilles tendon into the hamstring, the bicep femoris. Feels really great. And then we can drop open the right knee and open the left leg out to the left side. Right arm can come out to the side or it can land to the floor. You can even take the outside of the left foot with the right hand, bring that left arm underneath into compass pose, extending the left leg and looking underneath the right shoulder. This is if you want it as a variation, it can be here, or you can simply stay open with the arm and the leg. Then let's come through our elephant pose. We'll bring that right leg. If we're in compass pose, we're kind of already halfway there. Hop it over the arm, bring the left hand down, right leg extends, and we want our hands to be roughly in line with mid thigh. You've got to squeeze this leg around the arm so that when we try and lift the bum off the floor, it doesn't just slide off. So give it a good squeeze, hands come down, lean the weight forward and see if you can pick the bum up. Maybe you can pick bum and leg off the floor. Have a play maybe three times. Now easier option to come through into our next pose, release the foot, draw the right leg in and step the right leg back into your low lunge, squeezing the buttocks. Slightly more advanced variation, if you fancy it, if you've got this in your practice or you want to have a play, nothing wrong with having a good old play. Push into the ground, lift the leg, draw the right leg through and we step it back into that low lunge. Arms will come up. A Little bit easier when we move faster. Good, shift the weight back so that we're over the right knee with the right hip. And this left leg's either gonna draw a semicircle across the floor or we can float it over the ground. As it comes all the way round to the back, the hands are then gonna drop into that three-legged tabletop position. We can chaturanga the arms, maybe pick up the right toes, and we're just grazing the chin into the floor. We're not landing on the chin, we're gently pressing down with the hands. Chin is just 
nudged into the floor slightly. Bring the left toes down to the floor and draw that right knee into the chest. Squeeze it in, inhale. Exhale. And then draw both feet together, upward facing dog with the toes still tucked. So squeeze your buttocks, lower your hips, draw your shoulders down and back and open through the back of the skull. So avoid lifting the head up. Think about pulling the back of the skull open, knees down and shift back into your child pose. Take a moment to breathe and to acclimatise. We've got side two to go through. Inhaling. Forearms down, coming into that lovely kind of cow variation on your forearms. And we exhale, tuck the toes into our dolphin. Get a lovely stretch and a strengthen through your shoulders. Really push the arms into the ground. See, we can lift both elbows off the floor at the same time as we shift into our plank. Inhaling, hold. Aligning shoulder blades with the scapula and the skull. And then push back into your downward facing dog. Okay, we'll shift the weight forward into our plank again and drop your heels to the left, toes to the right, side plank pose, right arm over the head and really push down with that left hand to lift the left hip up high. Right knee comes down, right hand comes down and we open all the way to the left, bringing the left leg up, left arm up and over the head. Good. Slightly bring that left foot a little bit towards the diagonal back corner, dropping the toes down and lifting up into gate pose. Take the side stretch, left arm down, right arm over. Lovely for opening up that side of your waist. And we'll pivot on the right knee, twisting towards the back of your mat, keeping the left foot where it is so we get the lateral hamstring stretch, avoiding the toes rolling out or in. So keep them nicely pointing up to the sky. It should be that like, oh yeah, lateral hamstrings, all right. Good, keep breathing. Tuck the right toes, fingers or palms into the floor. Either join the feet back one at a time, so we come back left leg back, or simultaneously draw the feet back into this shorter down dog variation. We'll then come onto the balls of the feet, heels together, knees wide, walk your hands back wrapping the arms maybe around the heels into garland pose as you fold forward. Remember you can stay with your hands grounded in front of you. We'll bring the knees together, lift the arms up high, find your balance. Palms come to the heart centre and we're twisting to the left this time. Right elbow to the outside of the left thigh and twist so the hands come relatively close towards the centre of the chest. You can stay here or coming through into your side crow, left elbow to the outer edge of the left hip, right elbow is already on the left kind of top of the thigh, hands off the mat, lifting the feet off the floor if you can. Now you can come back here back to the twist or you can extend right leg, holding, and then drop the feet and open into your skandhasana variation. You can do this a little bit slower by coming back up, extending the left leg, right leg, sorry, forward and opening into your skandhasana. Good, turning back to the top of your mat, right hand comes forward, back to that lunge variation. So find your feet in the right place first, then turn your left foot out and roll onto both edges of your feet, lifting the left arm up to the sky. Really try and pull that left hip back and that right hip forward. Feels great on the hips. Turn back to the lunge, push down through the left foot, lift the right leg up, warrior three. A little micro bend in the left leg and see if we can really use the glutes and the hamstring of the right leg to lift that thigh. Crossing it behind slightly, coming through our curtsy, bending both knees, but the weight is in the left heel and the back right ball of the foot and sink low. Really find that nice deep lunge into your body. So your thighs, butt, oh, they should be burning. Then taking that right leg, forgot which leg it was, over the left into your eagle, either one bind or double, hands behind the back, interlace the fingers and pull the shoulder blades down. We can stay here or we can bend a bit deeper. We might fancy a little bit of a fold, bringing the arms up slightly and folding in. 
Apparently not for me today. <laughs> Definitely don't have the balance for it. Good, so we're gonna take that right leg forward, grab hold of the shin, thigh, foot, wherever you can reach. Remember, you can use your hands. And we're piking down. Oh, you got the crunch of the knee that side. <laughs> into this pike craned position. So letting that lovely leg open up from the Achilles tendon all the way down towards the sit bone. Opening up the left knee, maybe just opening up the right leg. You can bend the right knee if that feels nice or compass pose, bringing the right hand underneath the left thigh, grabbing hold of the outside edge of the right foot with the left hand and then twisting and looking underneath the left armpit. You don't have to straighten the right leg, but you can have a play. Let me show you from the front, playing with this twist and extension as we look underneath. Remembering you can always lift the butt cheek off the floor. You might prefer to have the butt grounded as you twist. Whichever variation, whether we're in extension of the leg or in compass pose, let's have a go elephant. So hook it over, hands down to the floor, extend the left leg forward. So hands are roughly in line with mid-thigh. Squeeze this right leg around your right arm. We lift the bum, push down and lower. We can just play this, lift and lower. Or we can have a go floating, leg and bum off the floor. Float lifts, harder than it looks. <laughs> One more. Harder variation, we thread the leg through, step it back and we're in our lunge. Release the arms. Slightly more easy variation, still a bit kind of clunky. So we drop the right foot, left leg comes through, we step the left leg back and we lunge. And when we flow through, I won't give you the options, I'll just tell you to go and do one, right? <laughs> so shift the weight back over the left leg and we'll sweep the right leg back, either touching the floor or hovering, land the hands in that three-legged tabletop pose. As you bend the elbows, chaturanga, that left toes might want to come up towards the right thigh. Chin just graces the floor. And then we push right toes into the ground, pull the knee towards the nose, squeeze it in. Good. Take it to the upward facing dog, squeeze the buttocks. Pelvis drops towards the floor, pull the shoulder blades down and back and open through the chest. And coming into your Child pose position. Take a moment to breathe. We're gonna flow through both sides without stopping. Dun, dun, dun. A little bit quicker. So if you still need to go over that flow again, go back, repeat it again, same speed, learn it as best you can, and then you can progress on. Or you may be starting here as you've already learned it and you want to go a little bit quicker just for getting that flow feeling in your body. So check in with your breath. How are you feeling? Let your breath be the power to force drive your body into the shapes. So let the breath be the energy. Good, bring the hands forward. Here we go. Inhale, forearm cow pose. Exhale, dolphin pose. Inhale, come into plank, lift both elbows at the same time. And exhale into downward facing dog. Inhale, we come through into the plank and straight into side plank, heels to the right, toes to the left, left arm over the head. Left hand down, left knee down, right arm up, right leg up. We drop the right toes towards the back diagonal of the mat and come up into our gate pose and straight into our side stretch, left arm over the head. Turning to the back of the mat, pivot on the left knee, lateral hamstring stretch. Tucking the left toes, join the feet together and come through into your garland shape, either hands down or wrap them around the heels, fold. Inhale to come up, arms up high, balancing on the feet. And we can come through our twist or straight into your side crow variation, either extending the left leg or you can keep the feet together. Make your way into Skandasana, dropping the feet, opening the knee and folding through. Turning to the top of your mat, left hand to the top, 
turn to the outer edges of your feet. So you've got to turn all the way around and lift the right arm high. Coming through into your warrior three, lifting the left leg up. And as we exhale, come into your curtsy squat. Wrap the left leg around the right, eagle the legs, interlace the fingers, pull the shoulders down, maybe fold. We'll come through into the pike, left foot or leg, dropping all the way onto the bum crane position. Open the right knee, compass pose, or take the left leg out to the side. And let's go through our elephant position. Hook the leg over the arm, extend the right leg forward, lifting and lowering, or lifting and threading through. See if you can come into that lunge position. Inhale, lift the arm, squeeze your buttocks. Shift the weight back so that the hips over the knee. And as we take the left leg back, we drop into that chaturanga variation. Left toes down, right knee to nose. Take it to upward facing dog as you inhale, squeeze the buttocks. Exhale into your child pose. Inhale, we come through into forearm um, cow pose. Exhale, dolphin. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, come back through into plank and turn the heels to the left, toes to the right, side plank pose. Right hand down, right knee down, left leg up, left arm up. Take the left toes to the back corner of the mat and come up to gate pose and into your side stretch, right arm over the head. Pivot on the right knee, hands down, lateral hamstring stretch. Tuck the right toes, step the feet back together and we bend the knees, open them wide, feet together and bring the hands behind the feet and fold in. Garland pose. Make your way back up. Inhale, reach the arms high. You can come just into your twist to the left, or we can come through into our side crow position, having a little play, maybe extending the right leg. Now, if you're extending the leg, we'll drop the feet, open up the left knee and fold in, or a slightly easier variation of stepping into this position. Right hand comes down pivot to the top of your mat and then turn on your feet outer edges of your feet rotate out left arm high keep that right leg nice and straight coming through into your warrior three extending the left leg up left right leg up and little micro bend in your left knee curtsy the right leg behind squat low and then take it into the eagle right leg over left Interlace the fingers behind the back, squeeze the shoulder blades down, maybe fold, maybe. Don't know if I've got the balance this side. Ooh, sort of. <laughs> Taking the pike, grab the right leg, right foot, and we come all the way down into that crane position. Mom's a bit of a crash landing. And then we'll open into either that open position with both hips or come into your compass pose twist. Taking into elephant pose, so hooking the right leg over the right arm, hands roughly mid thigh. Remember, we can just lift and lower. You can keep your left heel down and just practice this pushing. Or we can pike it through, we'll slide it through, having a little play with extending, dropping. We're all gonna come into the lunge, lifting the arms up high. Squeeze your butt cheeks. Good, shift the weight back. So the left hip goes over the left ankle and fly that right leg back. Hands come down as we come through the chaturanga variation. Chin grazes the floor. Right toes down, left knee in and upward facing dog. Squeeze the buttocks, lift the back of the skull and drop the knees. Oh, shift into child's pose. We did it. We made it. Come back to your breath. Maybe you can always do another round. Or if you're ready, make your way onto your back. Take a moment to relax. If you need to come through a particular stretch or a cool down, you can. Or if you want to move on with the rest of your day, come and lie in Shavasana. Take a few moments here to connect to your breathing. 
slowing everything back down. Softening into the earth. Just noticing that power, that strength that's still here when we rest, just buzzing through our veins. Taking a couple more breaths here. And you're more than welcome to stay here for as long as your body needs. As long as you require to be rested and to rejuvenate from the movement. Or beginning to wiggle. Maybe just stretch. Maybe just release and let go. You might want to draw the knees in towards the center of the body, perhaps it'll rock from side to side. Until you fall maybe to the left or right into a fetal position. The arm can be a pillow for the head. And gently make your way up to a comfortable seated position. We'll close our practice together. Let's inhale, sweep the arms up, big stretch, palms touch, as we exhale the hands to the heart center. Find gratitude for your practice, for your movement, for your strength. Namaste. Well done, everybody. Thank you for joining me.